Have you ever wanted to know your real speed while riding a cycle or a bike without using any mobile data or SIM card? Well, today I'll show you how to make your own GPS speedometer at home. Hello friends, welcome back to Roboxpert. In this video, we are gonna build a DIY GPS speedometer using ESP32 and the GPO2 GPS module. This project shows your real-time speed, latitude and longitude, and even the number of satellites connected all displayed on a small OLED screen. The best part is, it works completely offline, powered only by GPS satellites. I've also added a push button that lets you instantly switch between kilometers per hour and miles per hour, so you can use it anywhere in the world, whether you're cycling, riding a motorcycle, or working on any GPS-based DIY project, this speedometer will always give you accurate results. In this tutorial, I'll guide you step-by-step step, from hardware connections, coding, and display setup to real-time testing. By the end of this video, you'll have your very own GPS speedometer ready to use. So let's get started with today's project. Now let's understand how this GPS speedometer code works, step-by-step. Step. One, including libraries. At the very beginning, we include the required libraries. Wire.h for I2C communication with the OLED display, tinygpsplus.h to parse and handle GPS data, Adafruit GFX.h, and Adafruit SH10x to drive the SH106 OLED, and hardware serial.h to use ESP32's extra serial ports for the GPS module. Two, OLED setup. Next, we define the OLED display parameters like its I2C address, screen width, and height. We then create an OLED object named display, which we'll use throughout the program to print text on the screen. Three, GPS setup. We create a tiny GPS plus object called GPS. This object handles all the parsing of NMEA sentences from the GPS module. We then map the GPS module to serial two of the ESP32, which uses pins 16 and 17 for RX and TX. Four, button setup. We define a push button on GPIO32. This button is used to switch between KMH and MPH units. We also create two variables. Use MPH to store the current unit mode and last button state to handle button presses properly. Five, welcome screen. The show welcome message function is created to display a splash screen at startup. It prints robo expert and GPS speedometer for three seconds before the main program starts. Six, setup function. Inside the setup function, we initialize serial communication for debugging and start the GPS serial communication at 9600 baud. We then initialize the OLED display without the Adafruit splash screen, show the custom welcome message, and finally set the button pin as an input with internal pull-up. 7. Loop function. Button handling. Inside the loop, we first check the button. If the button is pressed, the variable use MPH toggles between true and false. This switches the display unit between kilometers per hour and miles per hour. Eight, reading GPS data. Next, we continuously read data coming from the GPS module. The gps.encode function parses the NMEA sentences and extracts useful information like speed, satellites, latitude, and longitude. Nine, GPS status handling. If no GPS module is detected within the first five seconds, the OLED shows GPS not detected, check wiring. If the GPS module is detected but no location fix is available, the OLED shows searching satellites and also displays the current number of satellites connected. Nahar 10, displaying GPS data. Finally, if the GPS has a valid fix, we display all the important information on the OLED, the current speed in KMH or MPH depending on the toggle, the number of satellites, latitude and longitude values. 11, refresh rate. The display updates every half a second ensuring the data stays fresh, but doesn't flicker too quickly. <sighs> Wrap up. So that's the complete working of our code. It initializes the OLED and GPS, waits for satellite lock, and then shows real-time speed and location information with an option to switch units using a button. Now that we've understood the code, let's move on to the most exciting part, the demonstration and testing of our GPS speedometer. Here you can see the complete setup, the ESP32 board, the GP02 GPS module connected on pins 16 and 17, the 1.3 inch SH1106 OLED display, and the push button connected to GPIO32 for unit switching. I've powered the ESP32 through USB, but you can also run this setup on a power bank or a Li-Ion battery for portability. 
When I power up the circuit, the OLED first shows the custom welcome message, Roboxpert GPS speedometer. After that, it immediately starts looking for the GPS module. If the GPS module is not connected, the display clearly shows GPS not detected, check wiring. And when the module is connected but still searching for satellites, it shows searching satellites, along with the number of satellites detected. This might take a few seconds, especially on the first cold start. Once the GPS gets a valid fix, you can see the live data on the OLED display. It shows the speed in kilometers per hour, the number of satellites currently connected, and the live latitude and longitude coordinates. This proves that our GPS speedometer is now fully functional. Now let's test the button. When I press the button connected to GPIO32, the unit instantly toggles from KMH to MPH. Pressing it again switches it back to KMH. This makes it flexible to use in any country. To test this in real life, I took the project outdoors. As I started moving, you can see the speed value changing on the display in real time. The faster I go, the speed updates instantly. Whether it's on a bicycle, a motorcycle, or even while walking, the readings are very accurate thanks to the GPS satellites. So with just an ESP32, a GP02 GPS module, a small OLED, and a push button, we have successfully built a portable DIY GPS speedometer that works anywhere in the world without any internet or SIM card. So that's it for today's project, a simple yet powerful GPS speedometer using ESP32 and the GP02 module. With just a small OLED display and a button, you can track your real-time speed, location, and even switch between kilometers per hour and miles per hour. If you found this project helpful, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe to Roboxpert for more DIY electronics and IoT tutorials. And let me know in the comments, where would you like to use this GPS speedometer? On your cycle, your bike, or maybe in some unique DIY project? Stay tuned because in the upcoming videos, I'll be bringing even more exciting projects with ESP32, Arduino, and IoT. Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.